in this video let's have a look at the last assumption of having a stationary time series and that is to have a stationary covariance now this is the mathematical way to show the covariance of, an in of a variable so let's say the covariance of that specific variable let's call this the inventory across time the covariance between inventory across a certain point in time and the inventory across the next period so we add a certain period to that time frame must not change across time let's see how that looks graphically because this math is going to make sense now over here, let's start discussing these two variables. We still have the relationship between sales and inventory across time. What we can notice is that sales fluctuates around a certain value. That's still going to be our mean, our average sales value. Over here, we'll have our average sales value. It fluctuates above it, below it, and it fluctuates in a constant manner. So we'll have our stationary invariance assumption holding and the covariance is also constant. How do we know that? Well, the covariance is showing us the relationship between sales at a certain point in time. Let's call this T1. And at the next point in time, this is going to be T2. What we can see is that the sales in a certain point in time and the sales in the, and in the next period of time are positively correlated. So if we have a sale above 10,000, let's say this is still an, on average $10,000. If we have a sale above $10,000 in period one, then we're still having a sale above $10,000 in period two. That's a positive covariance. Now, if we go over here and we go to T3, we're still having a positive covariance because in T3, in the next period, the value is still above the average. Now, if we go below, if we go for this time period, uh, let's say below 10,000, well, we're below 10,000 at the period of T4, for instance, but then in T5, we're still below 10,000. So we're having still a positive, rela a positive covariance, meaning that if we have less than $10,000 in sales in period four, we are going to have less than $10,000 in sales in period five as well. So the covariance, the way this variable, um, yeah, literally varies across time is in a positive matter. We can predict what's going to happen in the next period based on the previous period because it moves in the same direction. Now, notice the difference over here. Over here, for the variable of inventory, we're going to have a certain value um, that's going to be on average. This is going to be the average inventory value. The variation fluctuates up and down around this yellow line, meaning we're having our variance uh, stationary assumption holding but the covariance is not going to be stationary and notice why in the beginning for this time periods that covariance is going to be similar as to the sales we're having a positive covariance across time so the value of inventory at one point is positively correlated with the value at the next period if it's positive and above the average it's going to be positive and the, above the average in the next period and the same goes when it's below the average if it's below the average in one period it's still going to be below average in the next period so that correlation or covariance over here is a constant positive value that's the idea but notice what happens for the second frame what happens over here when this when this graph looks different well the idea is that here the covariance is not going to be positive positive anymore but it's going to be negative why is that because if we have a positive value of sales above the average in this period let's call this period seven in period seven we're having a value above the average above the yellow line we go just one period later in period eight over here and we are below we are below the average so it's, it's the exact opposite we're having a negative correlation between them is this one is high the next one is low if this one is low the next one in t9 in period nine is going to be high again high and low again so they vary in an indirect manner high low high low that's a negative correlation aka negative covariance so if we have here a negative covariance and we have here a positive covariance whereas for the dependent variable we used to have a positive covariance across the entire time frame across the entire time length so to speak the entire time series um, this cannot be held into a regression model for the time series because the slope coefficient will not be able to be constant across time. Since over here we're going to have a certain magnitude between inventory and sales, which is going to be, let's say for the sake of the example, 2. So sales across time is going to be approximately 2 times inventory across time. But when we go beyond that certain point where this covariance starts to be uh, strange well over here the relationship between let me change colors the relationship between sales and inventory is gonna fluctuate 
it might be the two, right? The magnitude of two as we had before. But then when this one falls in the in the right, let me change colors in right right exact the next period when the inventory level falls, this line becomes much longer. So the magnitude factor between inventory and sales becomes not two, but maybe it becomes three. And then it becomes two again. So it's not a constant, meaning that the beta, the slope coefficient, the effect between inventory and sales is not going to be constant across time. So that's why this cannot be constant across time, meaning that this regression model cannot be estimated. That's why to have stationarity in covariance, we must have the covariance of that variable across time. So at a point in time and the next period of time, the, it must not depend, it must not be a function of time. It must be constant across time, just like we have it over here. If we have this condition satisfied for both the dependent and the independent variable, the stationarity and covariance assumption holds and the regression model for the time series can be done. That's the idea. Hope this all makes sense and we're done.